Alright, so what's going on guys, this is Wade, and this is my, obviously sorry, a bit late, I haven't got around to uploading it yet, but this is my video of me using my the promissory note that we were given for as members, for staying as staying a member for all of August and September. I didn't actually upload my one of me using a 350k, but now, but this one's a 700k one. So as you can see here, we also got the deck of cards, where you get the four options. Now the insta heal, if you use the insta heal then on yourself, then you and everyone around you gets fully healed. If you use it on someone else, then them and everyone around them gets fully healed. Remote banking gives you something that you put down, and for an hour, it remains a bank, and you can use it as a bank anywhere. Insta kill dart, pretty self-explanatory. You can use it on anything except for like one thing, I can't really remember what it was, but and you can't use it in PvP and it kills anything in one hit. But you can go and use it on like necks and stuff. And the dodging death option gives you the option to when you die just come straight back to life with all your items and fully healthed obviously. So we're just getting into the bit where I use my promissory note. Obviously I sped this up a bit because it actually ended up lasting about twenty minutes because I had to use the majority of it as a five K lamp. Now I basically what I did is I got my attack strength and def defense hit points and range all up my attack I got from 55 to 60 as you just saw my strength again from 55 to 60 my defense from 50 to 55 my range from 50 to 60 my hit points from 55 to 60 and then after that as you'll see all my lowest skills which are the moment 30 I got all of them to 40 and I was pretty certain that the XP that I'd have left after doing my combat skills would be would just about be enough to get them all to 40 but that didn't quite happen and I was very pissed off <laughs> because as I'm I'm a little bit OCD about things I mean about certain things and I'm not cl like clinically OCD or anything but there's certain things I'm OCD about and what and some of these things trans trend like translate into RuneScape where I can't finish training a skill if it's on like 62 I'd have to, or 63, I'd have to then train it up to 65 like I, I hate having skills that are odd numbers which is annoying for when you're up in high levels because if you're on like 84, 86 I don't know um, fire making then it'd take a long time to get that to 90 but what I gen generally do is in the high levels is buy enough of something that I'm training to get it to a round number so that when I'm done training it it will be a round number but for lower skills like the hunter and that that I absolutely I can't stand them being like one of them one and another 30 and another 34 and shit like that I, 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 they have to be ordered and they all have to be that a certain level which is why I was so pissed off at the end which you'll, you'll see pretty soon but I think getting all my lowest skills to 40 was a pretty good job because in all honesty level 1 to level 40 is the most boring part of any skill because you, you could everything you like the only thing the things you can do are just shit like with construction all you can make is like tables and chairs and with slayer all you can like from 1 to 40 you can only kill shit things and like you know what I mean and with dungeoneering the floors are just wank like wank and boring when you're at such a low level, so getting all your all your levels up to level 40 sort of gives you that gives you a little start and he helps you out when when you get around to training that specific specific skill because it means you enjoy it more because you're using that because you like using do it, having like more fun on that skill. Like for example, with combat, having to use iron weaponry, and steel weaponry, and shit like that's just boring. So getting it up to um, like until you're on like 40, we can when you can use room weaponry and you can hit higher and shit so getting your skills up the lo the lowest levels are the most boring parts so getting all my skills to to a minimum 40 was quite a good job I thought well nearly anyway it also got my total level to just below 14, uh, 1500 which I, I should get 1500 very soon now I'm on like 1495 or something as I speak right now which is pretty good effort I'm quite happy with that because um, I, on the old the old account I had that I didn't really use that much it, that didn't get to 15 uh, co uh, total level either so this will be the first time I've actually had 1500 total level which I'm pretty pleased about in all honesty 
So I've just got through my construction and I'm heading on to my dungeoneering. I've already done Slayer and Hunter and Summoning and Farming actually. Oh, th this is actually the last one. Dungeoneering is my last one. So just in a few seconds you'll see why I got so pissed off. Because I ran out of XP on 30 fucking 9 with 2k XP to go. That pissed me right off. So as you see now I'm just quickly going through and clicking on each skill so they stop flashing and seeing what I unlocked and stuff even though I, I I know for the majority of it but that really pissed me off as soon as I, f I finished this video I went straight to Demon, Damon Heim or however you fucking say it I went to go and dungeoneer I did, I did two floors and got uh, 40 dungeoneering because <laughs> I couldn't stand having all of them 40 in that one skill at 39 it was just pissing me off so I just went over to dungeoneer and just got obviously that 2k XP that I needed to uh, get up to level 40 so now we move on to there's I'm showing my total XP there obviously risen by 700k XP so now this is when I use my uh, my fate of cards I only use one but I actually buy the insta dart insta kill dart um, because I, I that's what I think I'd have most use with because the insta heal I mean it, that insta heal would be useful for shit like dungeoneering uh, not dungeoning when you go in God Wars when there's a lot of you killing one boss because that heals everyone at the same time. This is where I check that the uh, the dart actually does, doesn't actually give you any bonuses. I hope it would give you like one million, but on each attack bonus. But it didn't. It's kind of boring. But yeah, and the remote banking only lasts for an hour. So I thought prob the best one probably is the the dart, and I'm probably going to go and use it on Nex or something. I don't know what, but I'm going to go and use it on something and then decide on something else to use. And I don't worry, I will record it. But this video is just wrapping up, and I've still got three tokens left. So thank you for watching the video, guys, today.